and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, as you guys know, we got the NFL 100 promo. So you know what that means? The market freaking died. It died and it died bad. Now, guys, I swear, I hope that you guys took my advice yesterday. I said very clearly on yesterday's video, guys, the market's unnecessarily high because of training. This was just hype. I recommend you sell everything right now. And then within a few days when it dies again, which is going to happen. So if I said, if literally anything else drops, the market's going to die again. And then you can buy everything back for like a quarter of the price or a quarter less of the price. And guys, what happened? Exactly what I said. The market actually died even worse than I anticipated. Like it actually is way worse than I thought. I knew it would go down. I hope you guys listened and sold your cards because if not, you're going to be broke or you're not going to make back nearly as many coins as you would have had you listened. And I especially hope you didn't buy cards yesterday. I made it very clear not to buy cards yesterday. Now I bought cards today and now I'm broke. So I need to get, I need to find a way to get coins up guys. So I'm going to start a GoFundMe where you guys can donate one coin per viewer and that will amount to probably like 2,000 coins. So we do that every day we'll be making it work i'm obviously just kidding about that because 2,000 coins can barely get you like it doesn't get you a pack in this game sadly but we're gonna go over the market obviously see what we can do see what's going up and see what advice i can give you guys on this because obviously we have we all gotta make some coins here especially with the way the market died and the new legends dropping guys new running backs are crazy but let's get into this video so let me let me do the quick little intro guys if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on that notification bell come join the family how quickly can we get to 13k you guys have been killing it we're getting hundreds of new people every single day, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't already, comment down below if you guys sold your team yesterday. Comment W if you sold your team yesterday. Comment L if you didn't listen and you bought players yesterday. And also, make sure to like this video. Can we get this video to 350 likes? You guys have been going crazy on the market talks. I know you guys love these, so make sure you smash the like button to see more of these. Everyone watching around, like the video. Can we get 350? Now let's get into this video. Go over to the auction block. As you guys already know, I never start on a low tier anymore because it just gets kind of re redundant at this point. So we'll start with the 86 to 87s. If you guys do remember, these were almost like 50 to 60k yesterday. These were like 60k yesterday. I told you guys if you have 86s, sell them. Because they did not go for this. They now go for 35,000 coins. So for all you who bought training yesterday for the Harvest Promo, which I said not to do, training got really expensive and then it got really cheap. So if you got Nitro and all them, you probably lost tons of coins. I highly recommend you guys start buying. Now, I wouldn't buy like to invest or like I wouldn't buy just because you think it's a good idea. I would just buy some training because I think the blitz might require training. And if it does, they're going to go right back up and then you can sell them and you can go buy them right back. If you had listened to me and you bought like 10 60s yesterday for six for uh, no, if you sold 10 60s yesterday, let's say for 60K, you would have made about 540K after reduction. Then if you sold them back, to, if you bought them back today, you could have bought them back for about 350K. You would have made 200K just about. And you have the same players. It's literally just like you you pretty much printed money. And then for the Blitz promo, you buy some more with that money. You buy another 10. The training goes up. You sell them for 600K. And you buy them back. Now you made like four or 500K total. And there you go. You printed money. I'm telling you, that is how I make my coins. Sadly, I do not have coins right now to do that. So I'm going to have to definitely go pick up some coins. So that I can actually take part in this too. Because I'm going to screw myself. I probably shouldn't have bought as many players as I did. But do expect the lineup update in the near future. So that I can show you guys all the new stuff I just bought. Now obviously... There's not much to talk about here other than that. If you guys remember, Julio Jones was like 55, 60K. All these base leads were way higher. All these team of the weeks were way higher. These legends were way higher. So just know everything's cheap again. It's safe to buy training, boys. It is safe again. 88s or 57K. These were definitely higher before too. The Harvest players are obviously pretty cheap if you filter them out individually because they're getting spammed from all the Harvest packs. Although I'm kind of upset they dropped the NFL 100 promo by the way they did at that time because they kind of killed their own Harvest promo. Yesterday was like... The second day of the Harvest promo, I feel like they killed it already. Not that the promo is dead, but like they overshadowed it. Like, how can you live up to the greatest, the four, some of the four greatest running backs in the history of the NFL for cheap too? Only half a million. I know this doesn't sound like, like I know it doesn't sound cheap, but limited time cards of that caliber that aren't even nearly as good, like signature series, go for like a million coins. So that was pretty cheap in my eyes for a running back that's going to break the game. Now, obviously, the 88s are cheap and the 87s are cheap, or the 89s, I should say. If you guys need trainings, obviously not bad values. We used to buy these 88s for like 120k for training so training's pretty cheap right now hopefully if you guys need a training you waited till today today's definitely the day to buy training we have to power up tom brady he's basically did come down i think that wraps up this tier right here i don't think this is where i have my, my interest lies in the higher tiers there's definitely some really good interesting stuff to talk about as we go up such as the 90s 91s 
I have to come up here. They're now 110K. And I believe even 91s are even a little cheaper. But you have to filter them out, obviously. Now, these are a little more expensive than I thought they'd be. Because I have seen these 90 cards for like 105. These are, these are only maintaining value for one reason. This tells me one thing. These must have been the best training value for the last day since the market crashed. Because people are obviously buying these. They think it's the best training value right now. That's the only other reason they'd be so expensive in comparison to the rest of the market. So I probably wouldn't touch this value right here. Clearly, people are buying it for a reason. There's definitely some intrigue here with training. Lamar's still very expensive, though. Maybe that's the move. Maybe we have to sell Lamar Jackson. How much is Randall Cunningham going for? We gotta go check out that, too. He's the new legend. I do want Randall Cunningham. Let's see in the 96 93s. All right, so this is where I, this is where I start getting a little interested. So the base legends here, you guys remember from my market talk video literally yesterday before when I said to buy, sell your cards, Ty Law and Dallas Clark and Ed Chutel Jones, they were all going for about 270, 260, 270. Now they're 215. So I hope you guys sold them when you did. And now you can easily buy them back and make easy profit on that. As we head on down, let's see, are there any new legends here that we could potentially look at? I want to see if I can find Randall for cheap. I, I kind of want Randall Cunningham. Let's see what he's going for. LTD Bosworth is pretty cheap. Yeah, Cunningham's going to be a ton. I don't see. I'll have to filter him out. Let's check out the Reduxes, and then we'll check out the Legends. So, Series Redux, what are we rocking with here? Matt Ryan is 199K. Wow. The market has taken a turn for the worst. Alvin Kamara is super cheap. Le'Veon Bell is super cheap in the 200 range. Gronkowski's in the 300 range. I, I, I mean, not that I want to get him because I'm so broke, but that's not a bad price. Like, if I had coins or not, I'd probably end up buying that Gronkowski. Randy Moss is 500k, and that's only because, guys, he is no longer the best receiver in the game. That goes to Michael Irvin. So, Randy Moss, owners, that might be the last year to receive Randy Moss in the million coin range for a while. I still want George Kittle, but I think he's still a little too expensive for my liking. Aaron Donald's at a much more affordable price, but obviously I'm broke, so it doesn't matter. But I definitely want this Aaron Donald. As we go on down, Deion Sanders in the 700k range. So, things have obviously taken a massive hit. Let's go check out the Legends as a whole. Let's see what we're rocking with over here. As I come over to Legends, Ed Tuthal Jones, 198. So, the, wow, the training values are just getting cheaper and cheaper as we go. Let's see what else we got here. I want to see the new legend. Andre Reed's 266. Now, that's because Andre Reed was going to be the best wide receiver in the game over Randy Moss, in my opinion, for the price. But then Michael Irvin came out and ruined his day. So, now he's going to go down in value quite a bit. So, Darnell Dock is one of the new legends. He's going for 415. Honestly, he's a really great defensive tackle, but I don't think I dropped almost half a million on him. Now, Randall Cunningham, 900K. Yeah, that's expected. I want to compare him real quick to Lamar Jackson for you guys, so you guys can have an idea. Yeah, see, the speed I don't care about. The two speeds aren't that big of a deal to me. The throw power is huge. That means that Randall Cunningham could pass with timing because this Lamar Jackson throws ducks. It's way too slow. I can't I can't do timing routes with him. Short accuracy is huge. So that means I can get threshold with chem up and power up. Medium accuracy, they both suck out. I don't care. And then deep accuracy is huge too. That means that chemmed up with go deep and everything. He's going to have an insane throw power and deep accuracy. I'm going to be able to throw really far things to Tyreek Hill. I'm kind of hype about this card. Throw under pressure. Obviously, kept up in power up is going to get anyways. Throw on the runs way better. And then play action is the same thing at the end of the day, except he might actually get threshold when you come and power him up. So, Randall Cunningham is literally a much better version of Lamar Jackson. The only difference is that I kind of wish he would have got dash and dead eye, which he does not get because his throw under pressure is not good enough, which does kind of suck. But neither does Lamar Jackson, so... They're pretty much the same exact cards, except that uh, Randall Cunningham can pass better. Now, let's go over to the, the you know, the, 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 the big boys. Let's go check out the new running backs. Go over what I recommend buying from here. Let's go check out the Michael Irvin and the Nitrin Lane. So Nitrin Lane and Michael Irvin are, they're slowly making a rebound. They were like 380 earlier. They're making a rebound here. Guys, the Masters, honestly, I think they're worth it. Sit here filtering them out, snipe them out. If you can get them from below 400K again, or even low 400Ks, I'd recommend buying them. They're going to come back up a little bit. They're so good. Randy Mo Michael Irvin is the best wide receiver in the game. Powered up and chemmed up. He hits every single threshold. And he gets juke or spin. I forget which one he gets, but he gets one of them. Every stat's above a 90. He's one of the fastest receivers in the game. One of the best route runners, if not the best route runner. With one of the best catching stats in the game. And he's 6'2". Michael Irvin's a no-brainer, best receiver in the game. And then Nitrin Lane is a top three corner. Maybe well, top two. I think it's him and Dion. Now, what separates them isn't just the stats. It's that he can do everything. He can press, zone, man, whatever, play, rec, jump, agility. But on top of all that, he has those stats that you, you, you want. The 78 catching, which means with John Madden and Mike, everything, he might actually get to like a 79 catching. And I don't know if you guys know, when you have above a 75 catch or whatever, I don't know what it is about this game. Dion makes crazy spec catches because of that. So I imagine that he's in a similar route, a, a, a similar boat, I mean. And what, the big thing about him is going to be his elusiveness, 93. Ball carry vision, 90. Spin move, 88. And juke move, 90. That means that after he catches the ball, 
on a pick he's just like Deion Sanders he could take that thing back just like a, a wide receiver running back so that, that's the beauty of it because literally anything that him and Nitrine Lane and Deion Sanders touch on my, on my team if I get them can obviously do damage and the best part about him on top of that is a 90 hit power guys cornerbacks get to the running back a lot cornerbacks get easy hits on wide receivers but their 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 hit power is too bad so they never do any damage but his hit power is going to lay the boom on receivers with bad carrying. He's going to be able to knock down some running backs. He's going to be able to push people back. I mean, that's the beauty of Nitro Lane is that he's going to force hits in places where you don't expect the hits to be forced. You know, people people try to juke at the cornerbacks, and if Nitro Lane gets a hit on you, you might force a fumble. And then as we're going up, we now have the new NFL Top 100 running backs, which I'm going to filter out. Now, I'm going to give you guys my little quick rankings in video here just to show you guys what I would end up doing. So, Jim Brown's great, but just based on his pricing, you can see that he's probably the worst one, and people have told me that he's not really the best one. Now, the only thing I don't like about him is his elusiveness. And agility other than that the card's pretty awesome he can get i believe it's bruiser and he can get evasive so this card's definitely going to be a beast but i find it weird that emma smith is worth more than him i don't really know what emma smith does better than him that would make me say i want him more i mean they're definitely similar but the speed's too slow for me it's pretty much saquon barkley now barry sanders and eric dickerson are probably the best two in my opinion now barry sanders i'm gonna go over eric dickerson first i think my top two are eric dickerson and barry i'm gonna put barry ahead of him although i heard dickerson could be better Dickerson powered up and everything. He's going to have the 94 speed, which is crazy. He's going to have the top tier trucking brake tackle. I personally don't care for the trucking stat. The trucking stat to me means nothing. I don't truck. I, for me, I don't truck. I like, I, I'm evasive. I use my sticks and I, I use, I like the brake tackle stat. The brake tackle stat is what trucking should be. It's, I get right through tackles, no problem. I, I like, I like that animation because that animation you can recover from. The trucking animation, if you don't have like freight train or bruiser or anything, which I don't think you can even get. He can't get a bruiser or like or any of those things so for him the trucking animation is probably just gonna push him over for a few extra yards maybe occasionally get an animation but the break tackle for me that's the one where i get bounced off like pinballs i break off i do the stumble bomb i get right back up that's what i care about and that's where you get with barry sanders look at his acceleration that 95 acceleration means that the second he touches the ball he instantly like, like a cannon you have to tackle him like inside zone if you don't meet him at the line of scrimmage you're done the second i get past that he's gone that's the beauty of Barry Sanders. I see Barry Sanders in real life as Saquon Barkley, right? Saquon might get stuffed five times in a row for negative yards, but the second he gets past that secondary, or the second he gets right past the line of scrimmage, he's breaking a 20, 30 yarder, or even all the way. He's he he's the guy that at any moment can break a game open for you. Eric Dickerson, I feel like he's the guy who can get the five yards a clip, five yards, five yards, five yards, five yards. But the issue with five yards a clip is that you're gonna have to score officially in the red zone, and not everyone could do that. So I feel like Barry Sanders is one that makes it a little easier for you that he could just take every run. I'm not even joking. Barry Sanders got stuff plenty of times. He got stuff plenty of times. But there was like, there's always that one run where I cut it up. I take it right to the outside. And usually in Madden, you can't just take it to the outside because pursuit angles will get you. He's that fast. He outruns the pursuit angles and he beats you to the outside. And Barry takes it all the way. That's what I love about him. And I've when I get him fully powered up and kept up with my team, he will have a 99 or 98 Excel with like a 95 speed. This guy's going to be crazy with that break tackle. The carrying on my team will be above a 90, which is great. But that is about it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope this rankings help. I know a lot of you guys want to know which running back you should spend your money on. I think it's Barry or Dickerson. That's a preference thing you guys can choose there. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Come join the family. Why do I have a... I didn't even know I have a pen in my hand. I was using that like one. All right. Let's at least get halfway to 13,000 by today. And let's keep grinding out to get there as quickly as possible. The goal by Christmas is about 16, 17K. Let's see if we can do it. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like button. Let's get this video to over 350 likes. You guys go crazy on Market Talk. So if you haven't liked it already, you should have liked it already. And comment down below who your favorite running back is. Which one are you taking out of these four? I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.